for is so hot. He's Pond's special agent. Raw art stylist. Have you ever worked with kids before? Oh, man. Stay out of my business, Mustafa. Ah! This is not my name. Was that your feet? Adam Sandler. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Now take it. That's for you. You don't mess with a Zohan. We've just uh, come back from a preview for Don't Mess With The Zohan and uh, you're going to give us a bit of a synopsis of the, the film we just saw, a preview right. of this, this is Adam Sandler's new film, uh, don't turn off you theories just yet. Uh, oh, <laughs> harsh criticism already! Adam Sandler plays uh, an Israeli counter-terrorist named Zohan uh, who is Rembrandt with a grenade according to his father. He's a fantastic counter-terrorist, very adept, very skillful, all the women love him, he's frequently naked. Uh, and he decides though, he's tired of all the fighting between the Israelis and the Palestinians and he decides he'd like to move to New York and become a hairdresser. Uh, and so basically, Zohan sets about trying to achieve his dream by faking his death at the hands of the Phantom, his nemesis, his Palestinian nemesis. Uh, and he moves to America and starts working for a small salon. Uh, Nick. Did you really like any of this at all? Oh, I love this film. I thought this was, this was great. Now, the thing is, like Adam Sandler, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing a survey on my own show, Funky Films, already for on 107.9 FM. Uh, the top's actually on Thursday nights between 6 and 7. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a, a bit of a survey uh, with people just to find out like, where they sit with Adam Sandler. Because I find that you've got like three choices. You either love him, you hate him, or depending on the kind of movie, you can swing either way. Um, and uh, I, I'm with the uh, thing. I'm, for most of his films I actually quite enjoy because they're pretty much, you know, switch your brain off, leave it at the door, you can step on it if you like, and go and see the film, and, you know, get something out of it. And generally, it's just these really, you know, these hysterical laughs at really tacky kind of jokes. Um, but I have been seeing something recently in Adam Sandler films that uh, I never, never thought I would see, and I actually believe uh, that Adam Sandler is trying to bring about world peace. What? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm so happy that Adam is here to do this. He's my <laughs> review with me. Well, you see, the thing is, I've only noticed this recently, but uh, my wife did point out that it's been happening since 51st Dates, that Adam Sandler is uh, you know, tackling things which are a little bit different and, uh, and actually making uh, you know, people uh, you know, you know, accept things and love things. Now, uh, for instance, in 51st Dates, it was all about uh, a lady who had a mental condition, and regardless of that, he still loved her and still went about like trying to um, form a relationship with this girl who forgot all about him the day after they had their date because she only had 24 hours worth of memory. Then you move on to uh, Chuck and Larry, which was a story about a fireman, who two firemen who pretend to be gay so that they can get the uh, the benefits. Now, because his mate uh, doesn't, uh, you know, he, he doesn't trust any women to you know, marry him, he goes with a guy uh, who he can really trust to do that. But the thing is, you get to the end of that story and it's all about, it doesn't matter whether you're gay, whether you're straight or anything like that, everyone is the same. The characters break their prejudices during the film and it's, it's all like, even though there are gross jokes and stuff like that, the people who are going to go see that film would not normally go and see a film about gay people, right? Now, we bring you to uh, Zohan. You've got the Israelis and the Palestinians, which have been having at war for, you know, thousands of years. And again, you've got uh, Adam Sandler coming in and basically saying, like, when these people, you know, if you, you've got this problem in your own country, when you come to America, you know, if you've come to another, another country, don't bring that kind of conflict into the, the new country. So it seems to me that... Uh, in, in, in veiled in all of this, like, you know, gross out humour, there is actually like a point to the stuff that he's doing, and he is actually trying to bring people together. And there was another little subplot in this film as well, because Zohan would not only cut people's hair and make them silky smooth, but he would also have sex with them. And he would have sex with people regardless of their age, whether they were big, small, whatever. So therefore, Zohan was saying it doesn't matter how, you know, it, what, what you look like on the outside, everyone's got something beautiful inside. I mean, how many other films you know, have all this depth to them that, uh, you know, you, that you don't usually see? But Adam Sandler is putting this out there. Okay, I think there was a question in there somewhere for me uh, amongst all of that. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Um, I think the argument that he's, you know, trying to promote this idea of, 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 you know, breaking down cultural barriers is completely hypocritical when he spends two hours making fun of people for their cultural barriers. I think it's disgusting that he makes fun of this conflict, that he portrays these ridiculous stereotypes, be it Jews or, uh, sorry, Israelis, or Palestinians, or American women who are treated extremely badly in this film, or if it's homosexuals, which also they come under fire a lot during this film. I think it's totally hypocritical of him 
to make fun of all these stereotypes, to basically use them for laughs and for his own profit, and then at the end go, oh, we should all just get along. Of course we should, Adam, as long as we all pay your films, alright? So I think that's disgusting. I think that's... I, I can't believe you would even consider that, to be honest. And I'm... Look, Mark in the Glasses gave his four stars in the West Australian. Mark, you're a moron, buddy. Uh, because this is a zero-star film. Uh, without a doubt, a zero-star film. Adam Sandler should be thrown into the pits of hell for what he does. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I can't condone it. I wouldn't send my worst enemy to see it. Nick. Well, I'm going to give it full price plus GST. <laughs> I'm giving this away for DVD. I honestly, I, I don't even wait for DVD. For God's sake, don't go anywhere near it. You might catch something from it. You don't mess with the Zohan.